Hey, hello, you're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorla, a couple of in a riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at WannaCry. First part of WannaCry, which is, what the heck happened? It's, uh, it's being called a flash ransom, which is like a flash flood, but only for money. And it happened on Friday, happened on Friday, May 12th, on the Friday when the rest of us in Detroit were, you know, at Converge, hanging out, talking, first thing we start hearing is little rumblings like, hey, security operations center reports we're seeing a lot of traffic on ports 139 and 445. That's SMB ports. Hey, why are my kids being told that uh, school is kind of like chilled out? We're turning off all the computers and not really doing much work. True story. Hey, did you know so-and-so just got told they can go home early because the plants shut down? Hey, do you know the hospitals? There's one in England that apparently can't accept people right now? And on and on and went. Um, just a mess. So all told, over a quarter million computers infected within about a 24-hour period. So a tip for you if you haven't already, patch! <laughs> Please patch! We'll look at why patching isn't so easy in another video, um, but definitely look out for the Wanna Cry patch, which is um, MS uh, what uh, 017010. That's the the patch that came out in April. So back in April, this patch was released, uh, but only for newer OSs. Uh, patch for older things like Windows XP and Windows 2003 wasn't available. And this came out after Shadow Brokers, right? There's the Shadow Brokers dump, which exposed a lot of the tools the NSA was using to take over computers. And in them was this uh, SMB, or SIFS if you're a little more new school, old school, whatever, vulnerability in the Windows file server. And this vulnerability drops and you get a patch for new OSs. Old OSs don't get it. And that sparked the name uh, Forever Day, if you haven't heard this term. O-Day being for vulnerabilities that were just discovered but not patched. Forever Day being for vulnerabilities that were just discovered but the vendor says, nah, we're not patching it. And you're just like, what am I gonna do? So everyone with old stuff was stuck uh, and basically holding their breath. But we all figured we had some time. And even when you don't have some time and it's just like, you know, attacks, they're usually low level. It's been a really, really long time since we've seen any of these flash worms or flash attacks that take out tens, hundreds, you know, millions of computers in a very short period of time. So a lot of us thought, man, we probably have some time, right? And whereas many of the new machines were patched, many of the old machines, obviously there was no patch. It was all about changing networks and things. So come uh, Friday the 12th, this malware goes out and starts uh, whacking off a whole bunch of boxes, infecting a whole bunch of boxes. And it took off manufacturing plants, it took off line hospitals, uh, as you might imagine with both manufacturing plants and hospitals being big runners of older technology. But it also took off smaller businesses, it took off line schools, and so on and so forth. And what would happen would be, one person would get the phishing email, right? And once it was on one of those boxes, the malware would execute laterally and use that same, the first stage would be a normal like infection, but the same um, SMB bug, right? The shadow broker volume was then used to broadcast out to every box they could talk to on the local area network. And sometimes trying to get across the internet, which is why we started seeing spikes and SMB traffic on ports 139 and 445. So it spread, and then each one of those boxes would also get infected, and that box would spread, and so on and so forth. So very, very, very quickly running bot. Until it was stopped, which we'll cover in another video, but until it was finally stopped and terminated, I think it was uh, late on Friday or early on Saturday. A quarter million boxes in a 24 hour period. Ouch! Ouch, ouch, ouch. So, <laughs> patch, not always easy. Um, but I'm hoping you are okay. Did you get hit? Do you have any good stories to tell me about what happened? 
You know, we're gonna be at some future security conference going, where were you on May 12th? Uh, where were you? Hit me up in comments or on social media, share your story, and uh, look for another couple of videos this week where I'm gonna talk about A, why it's so freaking hard to patch, and B, how the malware was stopped and what it might mean for future attacks. Cheers.